Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video very quickly. Feel free to pause it because I can't dilly dally. We got a one trick Shaco. I'm a nervous Kennen kind of. Bleh. We'll see how it goes. We also have a Lux mid. Oh Jesus Christ, Lux mid. 100% uh, win rate rise in nine games. But yeah, feel free to pause it if you want to look into more detail. Uh, today is Monday. It's technically a new recording week. I have played one game. We lost it, unfortunately. And we had a, I'm not kidding, 19 death bot lane. I played Ari mid. I won my lane. I got a solo kill. I did good. And we had a 19 death bot lane. Like, there's just nothing you can do about that. Allura Mix, 18 months tier 1. Thanks, dude. A year and a half going strong. So I did want to play Shaco support, by the way. And then this guy hovered Shaco. So and considering his name is Shaco, um, yeah, he will likely... Well, he's a one trick. So it's better to give a one trick it, I guess, because I can play whatever. Uh, 12 hour stream yeah so we're doing a 12 hour stream this saturday saturday the 20th of april again feel free if you're a youtube pleb come say hello um it'll be starting at 10 a.m uk time roughly it might be half past 10 basically there's a, an f1 sprint race early in the morning on saturday and also uh the normal qualifying i believe i should be able to watch both of those things before i begin the 12 hour stream on saturday though that's my plan but if i'm a bit late to starting watching those then it might have to be half 10 you know they tried to early push it they want to try and hit level two by the look of it they're still ahead uh but the aoe and now we're even we're actually ahead of them aha yeah we're gonna play league of legends ranked obviously for a lot of the 12 hour stream but we're also gonna do viewer games because we've not done viewer games in such a long time uh, but that'll be later in the night. We then also might move on to that detective game that we haven't played, but we enjoyed for a long time. I can scared to use his mobility. Uh, but also as well, we might do... You might do a couple other things just for fun. We might do some Jackbox later in the night with the whole stream. Basically, our goal is just have a bunch of fun on Saturday. As it should be. It'd be good to... I'm going to order food. Because obviously when I'm live for 12 hours, I can't prepare food easily. So I'll likely do a cheeky takeout of something. And maybe, who knows, maybe the Twitch chat can have a say in what I have to order. We'll see, we'll see. Taco Bell. I'm not in range of delivery. Taco Bell is like right in the middle of the city. I'm not in the middle of the city. Oh... Age. I missed my W timing as well, to be fair. Could be a Nando's. Oh, uh, Jinx. We did know Talia was about. Jinx. You literally saw her here. Oh, whatever. Okay. Like, last game again, 19 death bot lane. The worst AD carry I've seen like, forever. I just get cursed with the worst AD carries. Dude, I should have saved my passive. If I saved my passive. If I save that passive. Damn. That was my bad. That could have been a kill on Twitch. Because I could have E'd, Q'd, then passived him, and he would have died. Yeah, the Jinx is raging. Surprise, surprise, an AD carry raging. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed an AD carry player is bad and also rages? Shocker. Here's top. <laughs> Oh, 
We're like double the Twitch's farm right now, which is kind of nuts. I think this Twitch could this Jinx might rage quit. You've seen more toxic AD carries this season than ever before in Diamond. Uh, AD carry's always been a really toxic role. Always. Again, the, 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 they have literally had the nickname the Babies of League forever for multiple reasons. One, obviously, because they're technically supposed to be very weak in the early game and the support is supposed to baby them to strength. But also just the way that they act. <laughs> Because AD carries will never admit that their role is good or strong, ever. It's literally they're allergic to doing it. Even when the role is in a good place. Yeah, I don't mind. I want the AD carry to be dead. I don't want the AD carry to feel that he can just stay in lane and not die in that type of situation. No. I do wish I had Shaco though. I'm not so far not impressed with this Shaco one trick. And I feel if I was Shaco, we might have been able to do a lot more in bot lane. And then he's dead. Again, no vision whatsoever. And my Jinx is inting. Let's go, babies. Jinx refusing to acknowledge that the enemy was coming back bot lane. And I'm playing good again. Nice. Nice. Translate that into dragon now, please. Please. Wait, why are you staying? My god, they're so stupid. Again, it's Lux mid, so I'm not crazy surprised it's not going well. But, like, in what world would you stay? Nice! At least you got it. Okay, that recovers that quite a bit. This is hard. Galopa! Hello, Gab, buddy. Give me a second. Uh, um, Galopa, 57 months tier 3. Says, happy 57 months, Huz. I hope your sponsorship went very good. It did. And I'm excited to hopefully see you in Diamond 1 again. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss you streaming. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to see you if you do a normal 9 to, nine to 4 job. Uh, because of time zones, I'll always be. Again, I, I just want to paint it clear. I, again, I, I, I don't know if I should have mentioned that I was having an interview and stuff for this job. The, the likelihood, and I'll just be open and honest, I, I said it a few, you know, weeks ago, the likelihood that I get this first job that I've ever really applied to is low. So, like, I don't think I'm probably going to end up either getting it or accepting it. So I wouldn't panic of me not being full time soon, you know, but it's been really good experience to have all this interview stuff. So, like, 
you know, don't I wouldn't panic at all at the moment. I don't think I'll probably end up getting it. Um, there wasn't job specific news. I had the chat with um, the recruiter talent person today just to put like expectations on salaries and stuff like that. And the chat didn't leave me with the most confidence in some areas that I think I'd be coming the high end of the bracket. Um, and you know, if there's a good, if there's a good candidate that they're happy to go with at the low end of the salary bracket, they might just go with that person. So that's the thing. You never know who the other candidates are in that way. All right, Twitch used Flash, by the way. Rakan is just on walkies. Cannon, Cannon, Cannon. Oh wow, he actually got away. Which is literally like a little rat, isn't he? But he made it back to bot lane. Uh oh. Oh, he's on 16 health. Ooh. So yeah, Rakan's actually giving up being a support. See, this is what I hate about modern supporting. Like, I'm playing Poppy, but I'm still trying to support and still being bot lane. Rakan's given up with bot lane. Like, he's got no interest in playing actual support. Nice. There we go. Worth. I really wish Riot would do something about it, but it doesn't seem Riot cares. I still need to do that Spectator Freak and see if that's how he plays. Because if if Freak plays in the way that he's basically ignoring bot lane, then you have your your answer. You have your answer why Riot's okay with it. Which is really lame, but yeah. And the Lux is doing dreadfully, but I'm not surprised in the slightest. Is she a support main? No, she's a top main. I've been spamming Lux mid recently. Why? Of all things that a top laner who's got border top would r jump on into mid. Lux mid is one of the, probably the weirdest things. Oh. Lux is dead. Because like, Lux is... Hell, she's even weak as a support nowadays, if I'm honest. She's not even strong as a, as a mage or a mid laner. A letter of the gold. I wonder if that's warded. Ooh. Nice. Got rid of the rise. Oh. Yes! Oh, the rise. Dude, we played that well. Woo! That was crazy. Did my passive, picked up the thingy thing. I don't need to go here. Why risk it? Shaco's full health. But Lux is three levels down. Now two. She was three levels down to her opponent mid laner. That is bad. Rise's name. Did you guys know the Church of Satan, or whatever the official name of it is, is a better church than most? They actually pay taxes and everything. Crazy. Oh, this Ryze is still bot lane. 
God, this Lux is worse than literally a support. I am stronger than this Lux right now, and she's our mid laner. Don't play Lux mid, guys. Mika asked about it earlier today. Wow, that was hinting. Hmm. The Church of Satan, like, again, we're not even memeing. Like, some people don't even know. It's an official, like, thing. And, um, they are very progressive. And they're actually, like, pro-human rights and everything. They're not a, a bad organization, whatever, you know, whatsoever. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Oh well. But I am going to be useful this game, so... I kind of trust myself a lot more. Well, I trust myself more than this Lux. I'll put it that way. Because I might start building damage and Lux, hell, she could start building support. Genuinely might be better for our team. Cannon useless. Eh, he's not the most useful champion, but in a team fight, he hopefully will do something. The problem is, is Kennen in modern meta kind of is awful because modern meta, obviously, of top lane is never grouped just split push, and that's what Warwick is going to do because he can't team fight. So if Kennen has to constantly be against Warwick, then Kennen never gets the team fight, which is very bad. His rise is just constantly roaming. He's so much stronger. Yeah, Kennen going grasp TP ghost is a bit of a, a troll setup in my mind. Like, why would you... Dude, this Lux is just beyond bad. Why is it two games in a row that I get teammates like this Lux? Last game we got both of the bot lane, the Ezreal and the Karma, and this game I get a Lux. Someone explain that to me. I don't understand. Nice. We can fight him. Trust. Kennen has no confidence whatsoever. Like, it was a stupidly free kill and he just doesn't go for it for no reason. Ay ay ay. Hey, Shadow Lucifer. Genuinely stronger than my top laner and my mid laner. His rise does seem a little bit desperate. Like those old crazy ults and stuff. They're not really like normal. They're not really normal rise player stuff. Rise players normally play obviously a lot more passive, a lot more for late game, where this guy is just like early game. It might just be because of how big of a difference it is in mid, which definitely could be the reasoning. Damn, I thought rise would be in there.
Didn't have the damage to kill him. Which team scales better? Probably the enemy team because they got rise. They got Ryzen Twitch. What is Cannon doing? I mean, if he beats him, but I don't think... He... Oh, he might now. Okay. You've got to play it smart. And the longer that takes, the more likely someone's coming top, like a Twitch. Or someone like that. I can't be everywhere. This is the problem. Wherever I am, we, we've got strength. But wherever I'm not, we don't. It is a problem. Dude, this Twitch is... Uh, bad. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Really weird plays going on this game, everyone. Guess I'll just try and kill mid as the support. Because, you know, cash. This is normal, right? He's got bit on the butt. Um. And he's just spawning down. Where did I come back? Okay. I do my pretty good damage now that I've got Sundered. I was thinking about just going like proper tanky poppy support, but because considering I'm playing a lot better than a lot of my team, I think me actually going damage is more or less needed for that shield. Damn, sir. Our damage is just lacking. This is, again, this is literally why I got sundered. I wasn't involved in that fight. If I was involved, we would have got a kill or two. Cannon does very little. Lux does very little. Jinx probably does some, but yeah, Static Shiv. Obviously, I know it's meta to go Static Shiv early, but it's not. It's good for lane phase. It's not good for damage and skirmishes. Yeah, Rise is really tanky as well. Rod of Ages, Seraphs, obviously, the combo of those two items is going to make a mage tanky. Enemy team was wasting a lot of time on me. We win. And Warwick can't do anything when we're all grouped up. Nice. We really distracted the enemy team. Wait, what? Is he actually trying? He tried. Esu! Yeah, I didn't let the Twitch do his full damage, and I didn't let the Talia do anything in that whole fight. Support, by the way. Wait, what the hell? This Riot needs to balance support. So again, this is the one thing that I hope that people realize. I might play some of the stupid stuff, but I'm aware they're stupid. The, the worst type of players when it comes to balance are players that play the stupid stuff, they use it for rating, but they don't acknowledge it's broken. Again, that's, it's a very common thing one tricks do because obviously they're going to be biased towards their one trick and they don't want to admit climbing is because of their broken champ. I'm okay with playing broken stuff. I'll just admit it's broken. Way too OP. Do a bit of damage. A little tappy tappy. 
tap it in. Just do a little tappy tappy tappy. Little tap it in. Just tap it in. Name the film, by the way. You're wondering why I did that? Opens up the base. Yeah, 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 yeah. La 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 Yeah 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 La 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 Yeah 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 La 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 You're hitting me GG we win There you go. Carried that game. <sighs> if I upload that, again, I realize I'm annoyed sometimes, but again, I literally had a 19 death bot lane the first game of the day. I go into my next game, I get a Jinx I don't trust in lane phase, a Kennen that's feeding, and a Lux that, like, was basically useless. It's very annoying. Uh, give it to Shaco. Shaco also didn't do amazing early, but he recovered his game. Ooh, 22 LP. Wait, no. No, no, not 22. Guys, if I win the next game and get 22 LP, do the math. I also should get all the honors, by the way. Uh, we went 6, 4, 10, 15.8k damage. Just again to point it out, a Lux, who is a ranged poke champion. Did 13k damage. <laughs> like, don't play Lux mid. Again, I, I, I do think this player was specifically bad at Lux, but at the same time, don't play Lux mid. You basically have zero winning matchups. And zero pressure. No roaming pressure. No lane pressure. Jesus. But there we go. Nice win. Again, the Talia was really bad, and then the Warwick is just cheese Warwick. Again, you can see he's buying Holebreaker, and that all that Warwick wants to do, and it's what Warwick's tops do, because they don't know what else to do, is they literally just split push by themselves in top lane. And this guy was a one-trick, by the way. He mainly plays a lot of jungle, but he's I think, is also... He plays Warwick top. He's a Warwick one-trick, in essence. And yeah, I only got one honor for that game from the Kennen, of all people. Okay. But yeah, if I do upload it, it does show support is just not balanced right now. Again, I am fine with admitting that. And it's where I played mid lane. If you're wondering, like, Huz, why are you playing support? So last game I played mid, I won my lane. I got solo kill on the rumble. I played RE. My enemy uh, AD carry had 19 kills. Mid lane can't deal with that. And if I go bot lane, more often than not, we do good in bot lane. And I think bot lane is, and again, I'm, I'm counting it not just as AD carry, by the way, bot lane, AD carry and support is way more impactful than mid, like way more impactful than mid right now. So I'm just playing bot. And, you know, for those who goes, oh, why don't I play AD carry? Yeah, I mean, I could, but why play AD carry in some ways when I can play like support and absolutely take over a match, you know? Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy game one of today, oh no, game two of today, but first game I'm uploading and we get 22, uh, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. Eternal power.